feel. Today, Evian surpassed Perrier in sales, and now it's the chic French water of choice. Why? It costs about five bucks a gallon. Why do people pay so much for something you can get for free? If they're not buying Evian, they buy Aquafina and Dasani and the dozens of new brands that are jumping into this billion dollar business, including bizarre ones like Venus, the water for women, and this one with the Donald scowling at us. I'd have to be very thirsty to buy that. Me, as a parent, I feel more comfortable giving her bottled water. I drink Poland Spring, and that water is clean, it looks clean, it tastes clean, and it's, <laughs> and it's like, it's clean. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. clean. <laughs> Bottled water, we were told, is cleaner, safer, healthier. Another of nature's gifts you can use to do something healthy. We took five bottles of national brands of bottled water and a sample of tap water from this drinking fountain in the middle of New York City and sent them to microbiologist Aaron Margolin to test for the bacteria that can make you sick, like E. coli. What did he find? There was actually no difference between the New York City tap water and the bottled waters that we evaluated. The labels on the bottles do suggest they're special. Some show mountains or polar bears. But many of the names are wondrously misleading. You have to look at the fine print to find out that Everest water is not from Mount Everest, it's from here, Corpus Christi, Texas. Glacier clear water is not from a glacier. It sources tap water from Greenville, Tennessee couldn't find any glaciers around here. Big selling Dasani, Aquafina, and 25% of all bottled water sold is just reprocessed tap water from cities around the country. One of Aquafina's sources is the Detroit River. Instead of a wine steward, we created the world's first water steward. But this is how the water steward got the water, which he put in bottles with fancy labels. <laughs> And sure enough, most of the unsuspecting diners love their elegant waters. How would you compare it to tap water? Oh, yeah, definitely better than tap. But bottom line, if you buy bottled water because you think it's healthier than tap, test after test shows no evidence of that. And if you buy fancy brands because you think they taste better, you're probably just buying the hype. Really, whether you need it or not, it's a virtual medicine cabinet in your tap water if you live in many, many areas across the country. There's a scary new report out today. The Associated Press did a, a big amount of research on this, and the findings show that there were traces of prescription drugs in the water supply used by 41 million Americans in some of the biggest cities in the U.S. The list includes over-the-counter pain medication, mood stabilizers, even hormones. CNN's Elizabeth Cohen joins us now from the Medical Update Desk in Atlanta. First, uh, explain where they found it and what it is that they found, Elizabeth. Well, the Associated Press, Karen, they spent five months investigating this, and they looked at various municipal water supplies. Not all of them f keep track of whether or not there are pharmaceuticals, but the ones that do, they all had traces of various medicines. And I'm going to give you a list. This will give you some idea of the kinds of things that they found. For example, in Atlanta, where I am right now, they found that the water contained traces of antibiotics, blood pressure drugs, in Cincinnati, cholesterol drugs, they found a trace of one of those, and estrogen that women sometimes take for medicinal reasons. And in New York, City's, they found, New York City, they found a trace of a seizure drug and an anti-anxiety drug. Now, to give you sort of the big picture, how many drugs did they find in the drinking water? In Philadelphia, they found trace amounts of 56 different drugs. In New York City, they found traces of 16 drugs, and in northern New Jersey, 13 drugs. Now, the question that right now is on everyone's mind is, how in the world did drugs get into our drinking water? Well, it's, it's, it's not very pretty, and I'll give you the sort of sanitized version. We all take drugs, and our body does not absorb 100% of everything. Some of it passes through our body, ends up in sewage. Sewage is then treated and ends up back in the water 